For Criminal Media's Polity, I'm Tabi Shomolikai. Joining me today is Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack his column titled GNU to National Dialogue and Beyond, Part 3. You say that the national dialogue that has been mentioned at key events can potentially lead to a significant outcome, but that depends on planning and clarity about who participates and how, amongst other factors. Yes, you know, the words national dialogue sound very good in the sense it sounds like instead of fighting, we are sitting down as uh, civil human beings who are prepared to resolve our differences in a rational way and debate the future as brothers and sisters and all this sort of thing. But it depends. You know, how do you create a national dialogue? Who is in the national? Who is outside the national? How do you have a dialogue? How do you bring people there? Not everyone is in Pretoria or Johannesburg, wherever they want to have this. And a dialogue is not necessarily in one place. A dialogue, some people refer to the Congress of the People for the Freedom Charter. Congress of the People was not an event at Cliptown. It was a whole process of collecting demands throughout the country. Now the country is much bigger. Now, are we saying we're only talking about 100, 200 people and not the rest of the people who may have quite different grievances and issues and ideas for the future? We've got to ask ourselves, what do we understand by the national, who it is that's involved, and what is a dialogue? What is a dialogue? From what I can see so far, it uh, seems to be focused on what the government wants to, government of national unity wants to achieve, a sort of social compact at the end of it, whatever that may mean. And it's not clear who will participate in decision making. If there are decisions, equally, uh, the Various foundations who were involved in preparing this uh, were not clear about that either. And my sense is we've got to ask ourselves, how can everyone be involved? What are the processes to get them there or to if it's going to their area? Let's say you're talking about a certain place in the Northwest. You can't have it in every place in the Northwest. How are you going to get everyone to the place where it's going to be? There's no discussion about this. You know, it was discussed, uh, oh, sorry, it was referred to, but the modalities we don't know. If there are discussions and planning, the public is not being taken into the confidence of whoever is planning it. And what is your impression of the process thus far? Because you say that nothing has been done to designate who will participate and how they will do so. Also, how will those other than government and others close to government participate? Well, from what I can see, there is no process that we know of. We've not been asked. Uh, you know, in, even the Congress of the People campaign, which is uh, 1955, there were appeals to the public to come and raise their demands and things like that. Now, there's nothing like that. It should be much more advanced because this is, I don't want to count how many years later because I might get it wrong. And then the uh, list, the viewers will see that my arithmetic is not so good. But I, it's 1955 and now we are in 2024, so we should have much more advanced ways of saying to the public, uh, this is how you should get involved. But no one is saying a word. You know, there are gather meetings, uh, uh, symposia or webinars where people evaluate the uh, GNU. There's one for News24 in about a week's time. But there's nothing about the national dialogue. I'm not saying that News24 should be doing that. 
but the government or whoever is initiating the national dialogue needs to put its plans, you know, if it's going to implement its plans in 2024, it is very late to start now. And lastly, Raymond, you refer to accessibility that if it is indeed open to people who have issues but cannot get there, how open and national is it in fact? And you also speak of an absence of organization and the reach. Also relating this to the ANC becoming an electoral party. Can you can you please explain this? If we say this must be a national dial. In other words, we're not just talking about people wearing suits and ties if they're men or high heels if they're women, whatever it is that you wear when you're dressed up. We're talking about people who may be the poorest of the poor, who may be living under bridges and things like sleeping under bridges and things like that. How do you get them there? You see, to get people to a place You've got to have organization. You've got to have a way of going around and seeing who has got transport, who has got no money to pay for transport, who will go in what way. Now, the ANC used to be able to do this. Uh, the DA maybe could do it in the Western Cape, but not uh, didn't used to do it on as extensive a scale as this. Who it is it that will pull something like this together? It's not going to just happen by announcing it. You've got to ensure that people get there. You know, we've had scandals in this country. I've referred repeatedly to people who take their lives because their children and themselves are starving, so they have no money, and they are in rural areas of the Eastern Cape. We also see situations where people suddenly get power after years of asking, and they just applaud because they can't believe it's happened. It's a good thing that's happened, but they're surprised. They don't expect it. They don't expect a good thing to happen. Now, these people are far away. How do they get to wherever? I have no idea where they're going to get to. No one's told us anything. I've heard it's in the Deputy President's office. Yes, I've never seen any statement from him. That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Criminal Media's policy about the GNU to National Dialogue and Beyond, Part 3.